so how did it like how did it affect me during the 13 years so first off when i started to restrict myself uh when my stomach started to rumble i would fill myself up on lucozid so that's when the sugar intake started and i got an obsession with lucozid and now that's all i drink with a bit of coke as well but you can imagine what that does to your body over the years, to your teeth. Overall, it's not good for you. You should be drinking water. That's me saying that, and I hate water. I like flavoured water, don't get me wrong, but I cannot drink water just flat out. It, I have to have flavour, and that's what it's done to me. And whilst I was in school, this is when it all started, uh, I began to notice that I was like, losing concentration in my work my grades were going from here down 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 and i'm quite gutted about that to be honest because i i know i put a lot of hard work into my work into my studies but when the bulimia came in it just changed everything it it became another person and I knew I wasn't doing the best I could because I was so tired all the time, I couldn't find the energy to study. And I missed out on a lot of good stuff. And because I wanted to become a mental health uh, nurse, I could have been in uni, I could have been helping people right now, but I'm not. I'm sitting here making this video because of the choices I made, which is my own fault. And I can't do anything about it now, but I can make a change for my future. So some of more of the physical signs are when you are going to purge, you tend to use your hands or what whatever the person uses. I use my hand and you can see on my hand by here that there's a scar and that's where the teeth dig into the hand and that has been there for years and it'll probably still be there for many more but also like i said you get heart problems which i have to get a uh, blood stun every three weeks to um check my sugar levels everything else that's going inside my body money is a big thing with bulimia i spend most of my money on food and i've never come clean about this but in my room there is a cupboard full of food that i spend large amounts of money on i could go out and spend 50 pound on food and have no regret but then when i've ate some of it i do have regret i'm like where's my money gone it's gone on the f food because that's what i've been doing for the past few years like all my money that I could I could have used to go travelling, I could have used to help other people. I've been using to buy food, to binge on, to purge on. And to say that in front of the camera right now takes a lot, but I am disgusted in it. And sometimes when I look at the food cupboard, I have a breakdown and I get everything out of the food cupboard and chuck it and take it downstairs. I don't want to see it, get it out of my sight. And then I have an empty cupboard. But then a couple of days later, it's full again. That That's... It makes you think... How... Uh, how lucky you really are to have the food that you do. Because not many people can do that. Not many people have the have the ability to go out and buy food because they don't have the money that they need to and then it it's just one of them it's just like with my food when i have the breakdowns and when i say like get out my sight i take it to a food bank because i know there that's where they are needed that's where food is needed for people but It's hard to talk about when it's sitting right there in the cupboard.
but over the years the physical signs have become very severe like i started to have seizures i was tested for uh, epilepsy which is being ruled out as not so it's non-epileptic seizures i have now which i've done a video on which will be down in the description below and we don't really know where the uh, non-epileptic seizures came from but i have a feeling it is to do with the eating disorder so uh i've got that on my mind as well so i'm not allowed to drive that restricts me from where i can go as i live in a village that is out of town and i have social anxiety as well when going on buses so that doesn't help either so basically i spend most of my time in my room talking to my friend friends like online friends um but overall i hardly go out and if i do go out it's to see a band or it's to go away for a week or something like down to london like i used to but with that i lose friends as well i lose friends as well as because of the seizures it's a lot of responsibility to take on and i don't expect anyone to take that responsibility just to be a friend to look after me like you look after yourself that that's what happens in life you move on and you meet people who will be there for you who will be like yeah we're here for you but we don't want to have that responsibility and i'm like that you know i understand that totally but with losing friends too it's the mental side of, side of it um i having emotionally unstable personality disorder it makes me experience emotions sky high so if i lose a friend that i would consider family that is a huge 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 deal for me like i will go into a depressive episode for weeks even months and that's what happened to me i couldn't control my eating but that was my own fault and i learned from my mistakes and i'm still learning today like i used to drink i used to drink a lot i used to drink till i was bladdered and i couldn't walk but what i learned from drinking was it doesn't solve anything it it can numb the pain for a couple of hours that's it, it there's no no real reason behind it so that's why I stopped drinking because I lost friends from that as well. And I made a promise to myself, don't start drinking if you feel you need to numb yourself, find a different solution. And that's what I'm currently doing. Trying to find a different solution, which was journaling and overall just talking to other people and doing these worksheets, which I will um, talk about in the next video. So I hope you guys enjoyed the first two videos about this um make sure to check out my next one and i'll see you next time bye